Hey listeners, welcome back to this next video on how to create your online school or your own e-learning website. In the previous video, we were able to buy our domain name and hosting space from HostGator. We got an email from HostGator which was telling us about the cPanel login and password details for that. But once we tried to open the site, the site was not ready. It takes few hours for HostGator to set up the site. So what I did was I waited for some time and then now what I will do is I will re reinstall WordPress and from there I will do few adjustment in the WordPress. So here I go. I click on install, install now which I did earlier also. And now I am repeating the same step. Once it is 100% complete, I will click on, I will, the first thing I will do is I will copy the password because this password is quite complex and I cannot remember that. So I will control C, I will copy that and then I will click on the website link which will take me to the login page of that website. Our website which is createonlineschool.com. So I put my username as admin and I press control V to paste that password which I copied from that installation. I don't want to remember this password now because that's the first thing I'm going to do is to change the password which I can remember. So to change the password, now I'm on the dashboard. If I go a little bit bottom of the dashboard, click on user, user and then there's the admin user and clicking on add it go to the bottom of that page and then there is a password field where you can put your new password you need to put it two times so i put it for the first time make sure that it's a much stronger password and then i repeat the same password once it matches i update my profile so now i have a new password which i can remember let's look at our website and this is the first look of your website doesn't look very great but that's the starting point at least now you have a website you are online so first thing i do is okay i log out from that to see how other people will be able to view your website so this is the view which world will be able to see so we will do a little bit of refinement here and we will create our first post in this one for doing that, I'm once again logging in with the username as admin and the password is that new password which I set up before that. And now I want this to be remembered also because that's a password which probably I don't want to enter every time I log in and log out. So in this dashboard, you will see there are a few things and points to see here is posts and pages. These are two things which constitute all your material what you put online. So what we will be doing is we will be creating a new post. So for that I click on new and I click on post. Now I, I just put the heading of my post and the text of that post. So there's nothing, there's no coding requirement, there's nothing else you need to know just like you type in your Microsoft Word. You type here and I just say that this is my first post and I just want to publish that. Maybe just look at the bottom. There are a few things but we will look at those things a little later. But right now I just want to publish my first post and it is done. So this is my first post and now if I go to my site, you can see two posts. One is my first post and the second one is hello world which was installed by default at the beginning of the installation. So once again I log out to see how other people will be looking at my post. So if you click on my post, so that's how people will be looking at your post. This site doesn't give a very nice look and feel. So in the next video we will be changing the theme of our WordPress. And theme is the one which is a sort of a skin or the look of your words, uh, WordPress site. So hope to see you back in the next video. Bye for now.